going to be focused right now because of where we are on it. Uh, it's very important. We've entered this r double red block area right here. And I'll show you that on a longer term chart. But um, I want to short a, a larger amount of uh, against what I own. Um, for example, I'm mostly only 35, 40% short versus my the longs that I picked up earlier in the year when I doubled my exposure, if you remember, uh, when we went under five to 4,000, even under 4,000, um, I doubled my exposure. And that means I put money in from other things, real estate, uh, uh, other trading accounts and so forth uh, into this. And uh, the reason why, because I wanted to go over and capitalize on the future upward movements uh, that we would likely see. And this is one of them. Um, but I need to hedge also against that. So now I'm going to be 60% versus, uh, you know, 60% of what I own in Bitcoin. I'm going to be completely short above this area. Uh, now, when it drops to 10,000, uh, 800 and um, below around this 10,800 area uh, I'm going to go over and take off 10% so I'd be only 50% short and if it drops even further and goes all the way down to under 10,200 then I'd probably take it would be 45% short versus what I own um, so you get the idea uh, but right now I'm taking a little bit more exposure short above this 10,700 area and so forth. And we can go all the way up here. And if it goes up to 12,000, I'm going to go even higher. I'm going to go up to 65% of my stack of what I own in Bitcoin short. Uh, again, targeting this over here. So I'd be uh, looking for to take off the the 65 to here back to 50 and if it goes lower then I'll go down to 45 and onward and upward and if it goes all the way down to say some crazy move which is very likely um, all the way under here but that would probably take longer term to uh, actually occur because I'm still targeting this area and then I take it all off if it goes under here I wouldn't be holding any shirts shorts against my uh, Bitcoin longs. Uh, but right now, I plan on owning around 60, uh, as well as as high as 65% uh, short, which basically locks in the profits of my uh, longs that I took when it dropped all the way down to under the 5,000 range, which you remember back in the day. So that's my plan there. Um, now, one good thing that's happened during the week is that we've had the move on AMD, which is another one of my favorite stocks besides Tesla. Um, I do not plan on shorting this. I want to make this very clear because somebody made mention of this. And I'm not a short of AMD. AMD on their balance sheet and their fundamentals and their momentum would be insane. And I repeat, insane to short against. I do not know their um, how far of their upside is, but that being said, I have taken off 25% of my uh, initial investment, uh, which I made all the way down when it was way back in the day uh, in the 20s, and I traded this on and on. I, I mean, I traded this when it was in the high 50s, back down to 50 and under, uh, if you remember that trade. So I had a short exited the short when it went under 50 and then let it ride and then I've taken off 25% of what I own long here. So you see the effects of that. And from here, where do we, I think we can go? We get up to 82 and above and other than that, I'm gonna kinda do it like silver. If you remember what I'm doing with silver, um, I'm just holding it. I hated the fact that I ent exited 25% because I was so very sure with the JP Morgan manipulation that we would go higher and we did. So uh, aggravated, but I have to respect the charts and you know, me taking it off at 19 um, was fine. 25% uh, 
but I'm still holding this and I still have upward targets all the way up to the 36 range and maybe even higher. And I'll keep a lot of that as a inflation hedge. Besides Bitcoin, this is my largest holding. And uh, it makes good sense because of the fact that um, in the future, inflation to hit, uh, I think silver uh, will benefit greatly, plus the manipulation by JP Morgan. And um, as well, uh, I believe that Bitcoin will benefit as well. The only thing with Bitcoin is is that it is very much easily manipulated by your Bitfinex guys, and I, I can see on the charts the uh, higher induced volatility. So I'll take advantage of that. Other than that, uh, that's where we are. Uh, you know my uh, plays. The only other good thing is that um, I've not gone on about was uh, the oil, Chevron, you know, and so forth. Uh, we did get a move down, and I'm still looking for under 80. And you can see where we are. I don't have to tell you. Um, any of those who are interested in Chevron as a short, that's where we currently are. And I'm looking for under 80, and that's likely to occur whenever. And we'll watch that as well. But. That's the overall macro market update, macro, micro. Uh, I believe the, the Bitcoin move that we have here will probably be pretty quick. We'll probably get it sometime next week. We'll get above here, do whatever we do, and then get that move under the 10,800. And uh, I'll close out some shorts that I have from above this line and above at that line and under. But this is short term, and it should close out with the next week or two, I would say. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll update you next time, whenever. It might be earlier, it might be later, but um, that's what it is. I'll talk to you soon.